Radio Rahim with Andrew Tabidi here in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. This is a real big occasion because it's the second time they've had a huge heavyweight champion fight here. Uh -huh. uh, this place might be the location for many big fights to come. I'm sure you're hoping to be on those cards as well. So talk to me about tonight, how you got a stoppage here in Jeddah. Um, today, I, I just did my thing. Um, just box, used my jab, went to the body, and um, fifth round, TKO. Now, I know uh, heavyweights, even in that division, knockouts aren't easy to come by. Right. And uh, to get a guy, not just TKO, but not to answer the bell, what do you think broke him down the point where he couldn't get off the stool for the six? Uh, I, just, I just went to the went to the body, you know, um, got to, got some good body shots, you know, irritated with my jab. And I, I don't think he was in shape. I don't think he was ready to fight me. Being in Jeddah, we can't ignore how much money there is in this country. Right, <laughs> and right. certainly in that ring tonight, there are going to be some millionaires uh, <laughs> a few times over made. Yeah, right. Where do you think your path in the heavyweight division leads? And how do you become the main event for the big big bag? Um, so right now, I just want to ease into the heavyweights. Um, I still want to do compete at cruiserweight, bridgeweight. Uh, we could take certain opportunities at heavyweight and um, just to get the experience. Then we go for the big fish. Now, you're in traditional garb here. The, the locals and the people around the world are recognized. Oh, explain to me what you're wearing and why. Well, I'm wearing the Saudi Arabian traditional gear. Um, I'm here as, and, and my brother as well, are here as a guest of uh, Prince Khalid and um, Princess Michelle. And it's just part of the culture. You know, we love Saudi. I love Saudi, so I just indulged all the way into it. We've all had an experience here this week, and uh, some people from around the world don't know what to expect when they come to Saudi. So talk to me about what your experience has been like with the people here and uh, the people working in the boxing community. Man, it was um, man, it was it's an incredible experience, man. The people they have great hospitality, yes. and um, man, it's um, it's like a second home. Well, I, definitely hospitality number one, five star everywhere around, all the way around. And just meeting the people on the street. You know, we went out, we walk walking, we're jogging, and people are just very friendly. And it's just a beautiful place. I mean, it's right here by the Red Sea. You know? And we're only a few moments now from the main event walking into the ring. So I got to get last minute. You've been in the ring now. You know how big it is. You know how the floor bounces uh -huh. or doesn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, talk to me about what these two main event fighters, Usyk and Joshua, uh, have coming for each other tonight. Oh, man, it's going to be fireworks, man. But you know I'm going with Joshua. Um, I think Joshua, if he, if he makes the, he throws the right punches, he can, he can probably knock Usyk out. Yeah. Same here. You know, Joshua, the team over there, they're just like family. And uh, I'm going for Joshua all day. Now, like I said, you've been in the ring. He hasn't yet tonight. Right. Is there anything uh, you might tell him in the locker room or anything he should know about the crowd, the ring, the lights, the heat? Um, no, I think everything is good when it comes to that. Um, I think if he just – Go ahead, punch you sick in his chest. He, I think he's going to knock him out. <laughs> if that does happen, the first thing every Brit will be screaming right. is undisputed, bring Tyson Fury, let's That's go. go. <laughs> <laughs> How do you see that fight going? Don't just tell me Joshua's going to win. How do you see Joshua beating Fury if he gets the opportunity? Oh, man. Uh, it's, it's going. That would be a tough fight. It's going to be an entertaining fight. I'm just hope I'm just in the front row looking at it. You guys, you guys are big. Um, but I, I think Josh, I think Josh could pull it off. You know, it's just he has to believe in it, and um, he's the man in there, and he he has to believe in himself. That's all it's about. And lastly, like you said last night, uh, Prince Khalid hosted a great event. He had the hospitality here has been off the charts, and the people have supported boxing, and hopefully they continue to do so. So before we sign off, let's just get you know a last word for the locals here and the people who came out to support, and of course our hosts. I want to say thank you for the fans and supporters and everybody in Nanjeda. I definitely appreciate you, and um, continue watching me and keep continue following me on my path. Thank you. And y'all know how I like to do it. I support my brother. Always, at all times, we love Saudi, we love the fans. <laughs> Beast mode, let's go. Radio Rahe with Andrew Tabidi and, of course, Beast mode. <laughs> <laughs>